Welcome Aquarius Pisces to your chakra reading for September. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Keeping yourself balanced. Let's see what's going on. Best message, please, for Aquarius Pisces. Best message for Aquarius Pisces. Have soulmate coming in. Ooh, getting ready for that soulmate. This card is asking you what truth am I embracing? The card indicates no longer living in a lie, uh, having resistance to commitment and unexpected outcome, new truths, authenticity, treasure, and trust. Making sure that you're trusting your given instincts and your heart um, within the situation. Um, how do I love? Can this soulmate come through? Am I looking for a soulmate? Am I with a soulmate? Things of this nature, right? Okay, guys. And making sure that you're really using the root chakras of yourself, right? That way you know, is this a stable thing? Is this where I can feel secure? Or is this, or am I blocking myself from secure things and stability through a soulmate? So really wanting to know that you have the vitality and all the balance that you need for a soulmate to come through. Spirit wants you to know soul healing with this stole uh, with the soul star chakra, which is anchoring from the crown chakra up into the heavens. This is where the divine lives. This is where your spirit is. Um, and of course, because you are, you know, spirit, that's where you also come from. On your soul side um so this is talking about being connected between the spiritual and the physical heaven and earth so going straight down here to the root chakra gathering all your energy um, through your chakras and going straight into the heavens um, to be connected with the divine wisdom of the universe that can open up for the spirit realms and the universal love and light bringing in this soulmate but making sure that you're ready for this if you're calling in a soulmate you know it's like your soul wants to make sure that you are stable, ready as the human part of you, right, is ready for it because your soul part is ready. Um, and it does feel like it. you definitely are um, calling in a soulmate. But it just feels like, hey, you know, I just can't really get there just yet because I'm just not stable, secure enough within myself. And making sure that this is what you really want. Is it what you want? Do you have borders and boundaries that are too tight, um, keeping your heart chakra blocked, right? So asking those questions with the soul healing chakra, is my soul, is myself healed enough to bring this through? And remember guys, if you're already married or, you know, with somebody that you, you know, are intended to be with, um, then this reading wouldn't be for you. Um, so you could watch your regular Aquarius, Pisces, Rising Moon, or Venus. Okay, because this is literally someone calling in a soulmate. Okay. So getting to the next card. And of course, a lot of you don't realize that you are calling in a soulmate, right? It would be your soul doing so. Uh, meditation, making sure that you meditate so that way you can get to that soul healing. You can break down any walls, barriers that you have and getting back into the true compassion of yourself, whether there's self-forgiveness um, within the insecurities or forgiving someone else. Just making sure that you're very balanced to wait for this soulmate to come through um, so that it can come through. Just waiting for the ultimate balance over here um, for this connection. And let's see what's going on over here under the soulmate. Clarify on the soulmate, please, for Aquarius Pisces. Family, friends, and guides. So it, it's your guide, right? This is the soul part of you. This is like the angel divine part that we're talking about over here. And this is talking about spirit. Spirit is letting you know that the, through family, friends, and guides, um, these are mostly past people at this time. 
Some of the family and friends are also, though, alive and around you, right? And they can actually help clear and help heal um, through you. But a lot of it is just talking about the guides through the meditation, through the soul healing, connecting to the heavens. So therefore you can have extra help, see the extra help, feel the extra energy and the extra help around you and allowing these guides, family, whether they're, uh, you know, past friends, families, guides, angels, we'll just say the divine, right? Spirit guide, your soul, this is your soul side. So it's like, yes, allow me to help you, but you have to break down some barriers with the um, heart chakra. No matter what, it's going to keep coming in, even though we haven't seen it in color, it doesn't matter, right? Because it's going to all come down to the heart chakra in the end, because you have to get these balanced to get the heart chakra going, right? And this is a crown chakra here. So when you're crowning and you're meditating and you're thinking about the answers, you're going to crown to really get into the star the soul star chakra, right? Which is there for you ground yourself, get yourself here so that you can get yourself here. And then that opens up the heart chakra, right? And this is purple. So this is talking about spirit again, and it's the same color as the wet crown chakra. So really needing to get to the I know, having the unity within yourself and your higher self, um, and then within the divine as you anchor out, right? Very beautiful. Okay, let's see what the spirits want you to know, what angels want you to know. This is going to also bring in peace, because um, I just keep hearing this will give you peace, give you peace. It is a peace within the soul healing over here that you really need. Don't stop doing what you're doing because it feels like some of you are already in the process of trying to do so. Um, once you start doing so, don't stop, right? Continue to keep going. But you will be in the waiting game because you really have to really focus to get the balance that you need. So don't stop. And then you're going to have, like I said, the waiting game, right, for the perfect timing um, to get this. Let's see, get what your soul wants you to know over here family, friends, and soulmate. Got this soulmate kind of hanging out here waiting for you to get balanced. Remembering love, not only love, but unconditional love, not only to someone else, but to yourself. When we have an unconditional love to ourself, which brings in that compassion, then this soulmate will be able to come through because then you'll be able to 100% have your heart chakra open, be balanced to love another. I am wonderful. I receive and give love today and always remembering that. Um, and this is going to bring in fulfillment. Joy abounds me in all areas of my life. Well, once you get the stability over here with the root chakra, um, which is coming underneath the root chakra over here, the base chakra, it's talking about that vitality. It's talking about that joy. It's talking about all those things. Right. And then really getting to the intention. We have all this yellow over here, too. And I just have to say, you know, you're really going to have an intention coming through as well. Um, and the intention is going to be that solar plexus, which is also going to be opening up um, all this love and all this um, joy, joy also. Right. Really bringing in the joy um, as the soul healing over here, getting to the white light. Let's see, it's very beautiful. By the end of all of this, you're pretty much going to be in complete balance. <laughs> Seriously, right? To be able to get to the higher pieces and to have all the healing and all this stuff, you're going to be completely balanced within your chakras, right? Because that's where you're really going to feel it all coming through. Then you'll be able to communicate what you need to communicate, say what you need to say see what you need to see. So all of your, your chakras are going to start really opening up. Giving yourself some generosity, opening up that heart chakra. There is, there's that heart chakra now opening up. See the green coming through. That's where the generosity to yourself is going to start really coming through. Um, because this is going to be all generosity to yourself because you're going to say, well, I only live a life once. If I have a soulmate that's coming through, I need to get this balance. I need to do this. This is what your soul wants you to do because your soul is what? 
say it all the time for those of you who are subscribed and watch all the time we're having a what human experience And your soul wants to have this love. It wants to have this human experience of this ultimate love, this soul love. So it's saying be generous to yourself so that we can experience this. We're only here once within this body. This body will only experience this. This, this type of awareness, conscious awareness that you have at this time is only a one-time deal. Because if your spirit has to come back into another body, it gets a whole another conscious consciousness, like kind of like a, a like database, a robot, right? And then put a soul into it. So it's saying, oh, you know, I want to get the ultimate experience. Because then when we die, we go back and we say, man, why didn't I do that? Yeah, you yourself, because no matter what, you yourself and your soul are the same. It's just that your soul knows more because this consciousness goes away and then the ultimate consci uh, consciousness comes out, right? Which is your soul. And it wants us to do what we're doing. So give it the generosity. Open up that compassion. That's really what it wants. The Knight of Wands. Yes, there's that passion. Be passionate. Not only now come passionate, but I want you to be passionate. I want you to really be stable. I want you to feel the vitality, feel the heat, feel the love, feel the desire, feel the intention, and go after it as the Knight of Wands. And you might even have a beautiful Aries that's running right towards you or a Taurus. Maybe you're being generous to a Taurus. Maybe you're being generous to this Aries. We don't even know yet because this soulmate hasn't even, hasn't even come yet. But we're getting hints already. Who are we being generous to? Could be an Aries or to this Taurus that hasn't even come. Maybe it's an Aries Taurus cusp. Right? Now that's not going to be for everybody, but there is little hints that we can pick up. Like, hmm, I'm going to be generous towards something. I don't even know who it is. <laughs> they haven't even come yet. But when they come passionate through... Their soul is making them do the same thing. That's why when you're calling out a soulmate and that other soul hears it, because they were probably doing the same, right? And then you guys intermix or it heard it. And soul's like, okay, let's go. Oh, wait, I got to wait for them to get balanced. Hold on. Oh, dang, you're going to have to wait. Oh, dang, Daniel, you have to wait now. And if you know that maybe this is the soulmate and you're trying to get closer to him, and maybe let's say you already know and you're like, oh my gosh, it's an Aries, I already know who it is. They just haven't come close to me because it kind of blocked them, right? Right, right. But there's the waiting game. There it is, waiting, waiting for the perfect timing with the temperance. So the angels literally are saying, you have to wait. I'm putting you on the waiting game. I'm waiting for this. Once you get here, then there'll be the perfect timing. Universe already pretty much knows what the per perfect timing is, as long as, as you're doing what you're doing, because they know you're going to be doing it. Oh, sometimes things are, you know, some of you do have a, some kind of fire sign coming through. Um, now we have Aries Sagittarius. I got Sagittarius twice. So I'm going to say some of you, it's going to be maybe a Taurus, uh, Aries, strong Aries, strong Sagittarius. Um, and yeah, they're going to travel towards you at the perfect moment. They're traveling towards you. So like I said, some of you might already know this, but maybe you're kind of blocking them a little bit. Um, but you called them in unconsciously and you probably look at them and you know who it is, right? If, if you know who it is and you're like, Oh, I do, but I don't I want to be with them. I don't know. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. So that's for some of you. But yes. And a lot of you, it's a dream coming through. It's a dream that Spirit is giving you. Because your ultimate goal, your ultimate dream at one time in life was to have the ultimate partner. To have somebody beautiful who's like-minded. Somebody who's starry-eyed about you. Somebody you can build dreams with. We all have this embedded in this. I don't care if it's from childhood. doesn't matter where it is, when it came from. doesn't matter if it was a month ago, a year ago, you were five years old and you were like, I'm building the perfect person. I'm going to have, you know, 
I'm going to have a beautiful white dress with purple bridesmaids all in a row, right? Doesn't matter because that's just the way that things work. And now for some of you, it could even be an Aquarius. Ooh, beautiful. But more than anything, that's you. That's you saying, this is my dream from it don't matter when. And the universe says, and here comes your dream. Keep yourself balanced and I've got this. Because your soul has this. And it's the perfect timing now. What a beautiful reading. So we're going to get some Law and Attraction to kind of help you guys out over here. Haven't used the Law and Attraction cards for a while. Um, but they are very helpful. And keeping yourself positive. Um, using your intentions of your solar plexus. Because the solar plexus is what you get that intention. You're saying, I can do this. And I do want this. And, and, right, and really moving the desires from the sacral chakra of I want this. Because I can have this. And then, yeah, see, have, see, see how they're moving together. I want, I can. So really building these two together for that inner strength and the vitality of what you want. And the vitality will be the, um, the base chakra, right? So you're really working all those three together. Um, and then that intention comes out. And as soon as the intention starts really putting out the power of that, boom, boom, I can, I can. Then it starts opening up the heart chakra. That's what the main piece here is is the generosity for the love, for the fulfillment, for what you need. Okay. So the law of attraction is the intention, right? It is the manifest. What you put out, you get back. Give us what we need for the soulmate and the soul healing for Uncle Pisces. Oh, this is a crazy one. This one is within 60 days, it can be mine. Yeah. And the one after that is to the degree I am happy, I am successful. Really bringing in, and there's these, now we're really seeing, starting to see, right? We've seen the generosity over here with the, with the heart chakra, and now we're starting to see all the chakras coming really in, right? Because once you start getting it, like I said, you get yourself balanced, these are the heart chakras going to really start popping. So we're going to start really seeing that come up. So within 60 days, it can be mine and making sure you're happy. So let's see what's going on. As you give thought to your future that may be 10 years or 60 days away, you begin pre-paving. And then as you move into those pre-paved moments, and as that future becomes your present, you fine-tune it by saying, this is what I want now. And all of those prepaved thoughts will fit together to bring you precisely the experience that you now want to live. To the degree I am happy I am successful, whether it's a trophy, money, relationships, or things, the achievement of anything that you desire must be considered success. But if you will let your standard of success be your achievement of joy, everything else will then fall easily into place. For in the finding of joy, you are finding vibrational alignment with the resources of the universe. And that's why we have to go to the what? To the base chakra first to find the vitality. That is the ultimate abundance to the universe is your joy, your happiness, your peace, your serenity. These are the things, your happiness. These things are what help build, right, positivity. The positivity then goes from the happiness, the smiling, the laughter, the knowing everything's okay, the joy, then starts working on the rest of the chakras because the body is, the body, mind, and spirit is now happy. So a lot of people have to understand that the, when we say abundance, most of the time the abundance is just the vitality, right? Which would be like the sun card, the happiness, the joy. It's not always the riches and the money. That can come after. But let's find the happiness first. Let's get through all of everything else that we need first so that we can become successful. Because then you'll be living the dream. And that's really what your soul wants you to do 
is to have the love, the fulfillment, the happiness, and the joy. Okay? Have a beautiful reading, and until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.